This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we are given n integers as input and all the integers will be a digit. So the value of all the integers in the array will be from 0 to 9. So this is the given input for our sample input 1. So first we have to find the frequency of all the digits in this array. So I have already found it and the digit 1 has occurred 2 times. So it has occurred here and here and the digit 2 has occurred only once. So it is present only here and then the digit 3 has also occurred only once and the digit 4 has occurred 4 times and the digit 5 has occurred only once. So first we have to find these occurrences. Now we have to find the digit which has occurred the most. So the maximum occurrence is 4 and the digit is 4. So the digit 4 has only occurred maximum number of times out of these 9 integers. So our output for sample input 1 is 4. So we print 4. Now let us see our sample input 2. So here we are given 10 integers. So our first task is to find the frequency of all the unique digits. So I have already found it. So the unique digits present in these n integers are 1, 2, 5 and 6. So the digit 1 has occurred for 3 times. And the digit 2 has also occurred for 3 times. So here, here and here. And the digit 5 has occurred for 2 times. And the digit 6 has also occurred for 2 times. So these are the occurrences and the unique digits. The maximum occurrence is 3. But the problem here is 2 digits has the frequency 3. So the digit 1 also has frequency 3. And the digit 2 also has the frequency 3. So whenever more than one digit has the same maximum frequency then we have to find the first repeating digit and print it as our output. So here two digits 1 and 2 has the same maximum frequency as 3. So we have to find which is repeating first. So in this input array we have to find whether the digit 1 repeats first or the digit 2 repeats first. So let us find it. So this is the input array. At the first index, the digit 1 has occurred only once and the digit 2 has occurred 0 times. And at the second index, the digit 1 has occurred only once and the digit 2 has also occurred only once. And now when we move to the third index, the digit 1 has occurred twice. So it has occurred here and here. And the digit 2 has occurred only once. So the first repeating digit is 1. Since the digit 1 has repeated before the digit 2 repeats, we will be printing our output as 1. So the output for the second input is 1. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating an integer n and in the next line I am accepting the integer n as input and then I am creating multiple arrays. So the first array is arr and the second array is unique digits. So like this I am creating many arrays. And then I am accepting the n integers as input and storing the input into the array arr. And I am also making a duplicate. So I am storing the input in another array named input array. So now the given n integers will be stored in arr and the input array. So first we have to find all the unique digits and their frequencies. So we will be storing the unique digits in the array unique digits and their frequencies in the array frequency. So to do that, I am creating two integer variables named max occurred and max occurred frequency. So simultaneously while finding the unique digits and their frequencies, we will also be finding the maximum frequency. So to do all this, first I am creating a loop that iterates from 0 to n and in every iteration of this loop, if arr of i is not equal to minus 1, then we will proceed. because if the integer has already been counted then we should not count it again so we will be setting all the counted digits as minus 1 so whenever the digit is not counted then I am creating a new integer variable named count and setting its value to 1 because it has already occurred once and after that I am creating a loop that iterates from i plus 1 then we will be checking for the occurrences of arr of i so in this j loop, if arr of i is equal to arr of j, then I will increment the value of count and simultaneously I will also update the value of arr of j to minus 1. 
because we should not count it again. So when we do like this, we will be able to find all the unique digits and their occurrences. So I will be storing the unique digits in the array unique digits and their frequencies in the array frequency. So the frequency will be stored in count and the unique digit would be ARR of i. So I am storing them respectively. And now simultaneously I am also finding the maximum frequency. So I am checking whether the count is greater than maximum frequency. So the initial value of maximum frequency is minus 1. So when we do like this in every iteration the maximum frequency will be stored in this variable maximum frequency. So after the execution of this nested for loop we will be having the unique digits stored in the array unique digits and the respective frequencies of the unique digits will be stored in this array frequency and we will also be knowing the maximum frequency which will be stored in this variable max occurred frequency. So now we have to check whether more than one digit has the same maximum frequency. So to check whether more than one digit has the same frequency we will be iterating through the frequency array. So I am creating a for loop that iterates from 0 to k since the length of the frequency array is k. So we will be iterating through this array and if the value is equal to the maximum occurred frequency then we will be storing the respective digits into a new array named digits. Earlier we stored the unique digits here and in this digits array we will be storing the digits which has the same maximum frequency. So after the execution of this for loop the digits which has the same maximum frequency will be stored in this. Now we have to find the first repeating. So to do that we will be creating three nested for loops. To find the first repeating digit as we discussed we will be checking the occurrence of all the digit in every index of the input array. So we have to traverse through the input array. The length of input array is n. So I am creating a loop that iterates from 0 to n. And now we have to count the occurrence of the digits which is present in the array digits. And the length of this array is l. So the next loop iterates from 0 to l. So we will be taking the digits that is present in this array one by one. And we will count the occurrence of the digits until the value of i. So I am creating a new integer variable named count and setting its value to 0. So now we have to count the occurrence of digit of j till the value of i in the input array. So this array is just the copy of the input array arr. So, so now we have to count the occurrence of the digits of j until the value of i. So I am creating a loop that iterates from 0 to i and I am counting its occurrence. So if digits of j is equal to input of z, I am incrementing the value of count. So if any digit has occurred more than or equal to 2, then that particular digit is the first repeating digit. So I am printing the digit of j and terminating the whole program using exit 0. So now let us check our program with sample test cases. So now I have given the sample input 1 and our expected output is 4. So we also get 4 and now I have given the sample input 2 and our expected output is 1. So we also get 1. So this is the logic behind today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.